Hey guys, my name is Shane and this is Mob House. Today we have a very special video for you and I'm going to start speaking the Queen's English because Malaysians were educated with the Queen's English and this is ZY Productions. Hello guys, I'm Z. Can you speak BM? Boleh? Hi, nama saya Z. I'm just, I'm just joking. Saya boleh cakap BM lah. Jiang Hua Ye? Jiang Hua Ye, ye ke ba. Ke ya. Hua Ye hui jiang ah. Mai wan hui jiang ah. Wan hui jiang ah. This is Malaysia. 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 This is Jiang Li Hai. Macam Shah tu, tak boleh cakap bahasa Melayu dan bahasa Cina. Memang ni orang punya susah. Oi, suai jangan bu hoi. Today we're gonna do a PC build for creators. Yay! Because he's a creator, <laughs> and I'm sometimes a creator. Sometimes. Yeah, and, and both our parents are creators. You know why? They created us. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> high five, high five. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're gonna do a build um, with Oris parts because you can either have Z, me, or us. Get it? Oris. And yeah, it's sponsored by Oris. Hence all the Oris parts. However. I got to pick two things. No, actually no, I got to pick all the things. I picked the CPU, which is not by RSC, it's AMD. And the GPU, which is also kind of not by RS, it's by AMD again. Because you like AMD, huh? Yeah, because right now AMD is on the rise with their new Ryzen processors. So before we start, let me ask you, how much do you know about computers? I think just enough, like I know what parts exist and kind of what they do, but I could totally mm -hmm. use a few pointers from you because like it, how it all comes together is a bit daunting. And especially for those who haven't really uh, gotten themselves a PC before, where do you start? What's the first thing you look out for? Is it the processor? Is it the motherboard? Good question. Uh, now I always say that the first thing that you should start with is the application. Think about what you're using the PC for. Mm -hmm. If you're okay. a content creator, if you're just using it for office works and stuff like that, and then you decide on a overall budget. Okay. So it can be five thousand um, just for the desktop. Mm -hmm. It could be like eight thousand, ten thousand, fifteen k, and and up of which we're talking about ringgit right here. You should also factor in your display. Okay. So your yeah. monitor, how much you're gonna spend on that, as well as the peripherals. So you're kind of talking about keyboards and mouse. Right. Today we're just gonna talk about the desktop itself. Now today's build is actually a, an entry level slash mid range editing PC okay. for creators, right? So we're gonna cap it at under 8,000 ringgit now that we have the budget. So firstly, we should start with the processor. Okay. Now in my point of view, uh, the best price to performance ratio, the best bang for your buck is actually the Ryzen 5 3600X right now. Uh -huh. So that processor will cost you 1,069 ringgit. That's not bad at all. Yeah, so it has six cores and 12 threads. That's very good for mid-range. So then with the processor, you have to pick the motherboard. So for the motherboard, we're going with the Aorus X570 Aorus Elite price at 1,029 ringgit. Okay. After you have the motherboard, you should look at the graphics card first. Uh -huh. We have two options right here. We have the lower option, which is the RX 5700 price at 1,699 ringgit. Okay. So if you go higher a little bit, you have the 5700 XT. So that that's priced at 2,099 ringgit. Mm. 400 bucks difference. Okay. So for RAM, right now we have the Gigabyte Aorus RGB 16 gb DDR4 rated at 3,200 megahertz. This is priced at 699 ringgit. Now the, the thing that's special about this RAM kit is it comes with two dummy modules. Okay, okay. So it looks good. It looks good. So you <laughs> fill up all your names. Uh, alternatively, you can go for cheaper RAM kits uh, without the dummy modules, which is slightly cheaper. So you can save maybe 100 bucks right there. Okay. After you decide on the RAM, you should look at your storage options. Okay. So this is the Gigabyte Aorus SSD, uh, the one TB M.2 NVMe PCIe 4 SSD module for 1,199 ringgit. Oh, that's cheaper than I expected. Yeah, it's pretty affordable. Uh, not super affordable, but, but still affordable. But still, it's PCIe 4, one terabytes, yes. not two SSD. Yes. That thing's a beast. Yes. Alternatively, you could go for a 240, 250 uh, gig uh, SSD for the OS, mm -hmm. and then go for a 500 gig for your cache or your media for your editing and stuff like that. The next part that you should always pay attention to that a lot of people don't mm -hmm. is the power supply. Huh. So for today, we have this Gigabyte Aorus 850 watts, 80 plus gold rated. It's 699 ringgit. Okay. Sounds like it's pretty steep, but firstly, with modular PSUs, you, get, you have a, an easier time doing cable management, especially if it's your first time. And secondly, 
It looks cool. It looks dope. It looks dope. So the other two parts that you should pay attention to is important, but maybe not as important as all those components that we mm -hmm, talked about. Mm -hmm. And the first one is actually the CPU cooler. Okay. You can either go for a beefier air cooler, like the one that we have here, which is the Aorus ATC 800, parts okay. at 429 ringgit. Wow. Or you can go for AIO coolers. And for the case, we have the RC 300 case, priced at 599. So the total build price for the RX 5700 XT variant Drum roll. is 7,822 ringgit. Okay. Okay. If you go for the cheaper, the more affordable RX 5700, it will be 7,422 ringgit. Okay. So you can shave a couple hundred bucks off okay. if you go with no RGB. If you stick to the stock cooler, okay. If you use a cheaper case, but don't skip on the PSU. Right? So let's get started with the build. Shop. Okay, let's. Today we're Bob the Builders. Let's <laughs> build it. Before we start, you should notice that I've changed my shirt. Because Melvin mm. spilled some juice on me just now. Boo. That's why he's doing audio on the floor. Because we don't have uh, chair budget, we only have wardrobe budget. Okay, so now you have everything laid out, bare, mm. naked, for all to see. So the first thing that you have to install is actually the CPU, which is the brain of the Starting system. Starting with the brain? Yeah. First and foremost, when you look at the motherboard, you will see this tiny little arrow. So if you see this matching... That's tiny! That's even tiny. That's even tinier! Firstly, you must lift this lever and gently put it in. Whoa! That's what she said sometimes. <laughs> and then, you put this down and it's in. So now that the brain mm -hmm. is in its socket, mm. you're gonna put on the cooler that cools it. So the first thing you need to do is to put in the back bracket right here. Okay. If you're using the stock cooler, you don't have to do that because there is another retention bracket that, uh, oops. So once you have that in, you're gonna put in the screws that are needed for the CPU cooler to stay on top. You have to put in the stand up first. Okay. Put it in. Now you're gonna have to put on this bracket, which is in there. Go here and here. In order to put the thermal paste properly in the most easiest way, you just put a blob right mm -hmm. in the middle. Oh, that when you apply the cooler on top and you screw it down, it will spread it out evenly. Oh, it right in the middle. So you don't, you don't actually need a lot. You don't need the whole tube. You don't need a lot. Okay. Okay, you see these four screws? Yeah. You take two. Two. Yeah, I take one. two. This one as well. Just put it in. Okay, just right. With your hand. Give it a little bit of mm. a, bit of a twist. Yeah, now it stays in place. Let's put this in gently. Okay. You go this way because the logo faces up. Hold the cable so you don't have your cable get <laughs> caught into under your, there, yeah, into your thumb. That would be bad. Make sure it's Ooh. aligned properly. And make sure that it's secure. Tighten both sides simultaneously or like um, a little bit by a little bit so that it doesn't... Um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it doesn't get skewed from the one yeah. side. Now that the CPU is in, you're going to install the headers that are here. And the first one is actually the fan header. So here it says CPU op and CPU fan. If you're using a pump, you put it into the OPT. Okay. And if you're using a fan, you put it in the fan. So, route the cable and then insert the USB header in. So after you've installed the headers, mm -hmm. it's time to install the RAM. Do you see that there are two kinds of different RAM modules? Oh yes. Here, do you see that? Yeah, one of them has gold pins, one of them is just black. Yes, because this is the dummy module and this is the real module. Ha ha! You gotta know which one goes into where. Oh, it matters. Yeah, it matters. So if you only have two slots mm -hmm. of RAM, you should go for the um, outer, outermost one on the right and then uh, two slots down here. Okay. So read your motherboard's manual or whatever PC you're building depending on the chipset and the CPU socket, you should see uh, which one, which slots you should put so it in. So it might be different for every board. Make sure that you unclipped okay. the retention That's clips. Open. Yeah, open. So make sure that you align this notch here. Mm -hmm. This tiny see notch. It. 
to whatever is on the motherboard. You see, his, there's this division in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah. There's like yeah. a bar. Make sure you don't install it the wrong way, or else something That's will snap. You. Yep. Yeah. So you put it in like that. Make sure it's aligned, and then you apply even distributed force on both sides until it clicks. Oh, okay. So very audible click. Why don't you do the next one, which is which is this? So I push it down. Yeah, even. Ooh, it yep. does take a firm push. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Next, <laughs> let's install the storage. The M.2. Ooh, this is the one TB. NVMe SSD. So it's very dummy proof. So they always have notches. And then a notch right there as well, they're gonna align it. Based on the length of your NVMe SSD, you wanna put it in either this, this, or this, or this. Wow, it's a lot. And then once it's in, put this on. Gently, you're not supposed to use any force. Put it in this way first, mm -hmm. and then it should come right down. And then you have to switch to this tiny and annoying screw bit, a little bit more force to ensure that it's in before I screw it. So, the next thing you're supposed to do is to put on the GPU and then boot it, but because I'm so confident, that oh. I'm the PC master race. <laughs> Abang. I'm gonna put this straight into inside. the case. Now, what we're gonna do is actually attach all these to the modular power supply mm. before we put it inside. We start with the biggest one. Okay. So, the, for this power supply, the 24 pin is split into two. Okay. You have the, I think it's 16, I'm not gonna count. <laughs> you have the bigger one right here, which should go into here. And Pop, pop, and then there's a smaller one right here. So try putting this in. Here. Okay. Yeah. It's like this one. Oh. Yeah. Yep. It's in. For this power supply, it goes with a modular design. So the uh, PCIe as well as the CPU uh, headers are all the same, all eight pins. So we can just go to town. So I gotta put this in gently. You must go through all the snake. Wow. All these snakes. Yeah. You gotta work through all the snakes. So now you install the screws to keep the PSU in place. Okay. There's usually four of them. Some power supplies have five screws. Very rare, but sometimes they have five screws. Now it's installed. Let's flip it back right down. Side up. And just make sure that all the cables are stuffed Shoulder. in. <laughs> just one way to do it. Go to town and make sure that there are no dangly bits. Light down, so it's gently resting on this sexy bed. So as you can see, they have this RGB extension, uh, extension. cables to add more RGB. <laughs> Aorus is actually very powerful. They actually have the motherboard with the IO plate pre-installed. Whoa! So you don't have to cut your hand sticking in the I.O. plate, can you please uh, help me uh, move, move all these dangly bits She's out of the way. And it's beautiful. Oof. I like how you just grab it by the heatsink. Yeah, because it's supposed to hold. <laughs> <laughs> it's in, bro! Oof. Now you gotta put in all the screws. Yeah, just... Okay, I suppose there's another one. Okay, now that it's in! It's time to put in all the snakes. Zem snakes. Zem snakes. Wow. Into zem holes. Let's see. This so we'll looks... start with the big one. Bend it like Beckham. Yeah. Yeah. Is it in? I, I think it's in. So once the 24 pin's in, install the uh, CPU 8 pin or 4 pin cable. Oh. So it's fun right here. I'll put it into that one. So now you've done with all the power cables, it's okay. time to start with all the tiny and annoying cables. Oh my gosh. Starting with the data cables first because they are the easiest to identify. Okay. So we start with the 3.1 Gen 2 cable that looks kind of weird. Mm -hmm. It goes into this hole. Okay. So with the USB 3.0 or 3.1 Gen 1, there is a notch in the middle. They're going to align the cable and just put it in. Ah, okay. And then you have another USB Two cable that's the same as the one from the cooler. Mm -hmm. It goes into the other USB two header. Then we're gonna move on to the front panel cables. 
and the first one is the HD audio cable. Then you're gonna install the front panel headers. So remember to read the instructions manual to see which one goes to where if okay. this is your first time building a PC. Okay. Finally, do remember to install all the fan headers or else your fans won't be turning. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> yeah. Now that we have all the cables inserted, it's time to reinstall the fans and then put in the GPU and then turn it on. Whew. Yeah, that so sounds exciting. I'm going to take out the fan filter, okay. which is magnetic once again. So just line them accordingly, so we can kind of screw them on anywhere. Uh, Not really. Look for these slots. These slots, yeah. That's ah. right. When it comes to fans, I really hate using small screwdrivers because it takes a little bit more convincing to get in. Let's see. With the power of persuasion, we have installed all the fans. Yes. And then totally. it's time to install the GPU. Ooh, my favorite part. Or as I call it, the GPU. The GPU. The GPU. So now that we finally installed everything that's Ooh. supposed to be there, and yep. then there's a camera here that's Ooh. not supposed to be there, it's okay. <laughs> we are going to, we are going to see the boots. The moment we've been waiting for. The moment of truth. What usually happens if it doesn't? If it doesn't boot, <laughs> you will get the boot. No, it will just not, you just have a black screen. Oh my gosh. Or your basant. Why don't you do the honest? The, okay, okay. The power button is here. That one. Press it. Are you guys ready? Yep. Go, go. Ooh. I see lights. I see lights. I see lights. Wait. There's this super 100% fan speed sound that indicates proper operation. It's telling me that it wants to boot. Here we go. Here we go. Is it booting? Ooh. Is that booting? Yo, wow, with that is so fast. That's very quick. You didn't even see the splash screen. You know it why? Straight from you know slogan. why? Because you blinked, bro. <laughs> this is what PCI 4.0 does. Damn! Does your fruit boot so fast? <laughs> no, you still see the bar. Ah, you still you see, see the bar. His fruit cannot boot so fast. <laughs> so, we are going to test it out for stability by running okay. maybe Cinebench. Can you type Cine? Bench. Yeah, oh, there it is. is. And you're gonna hear this uh, really, really loud sound. So basically, you can adjust the fan curve of the PC to keep the fan noise down. Oh. But since we just want to see if it works, uh, I left it at maximum. I hope the neighbors don't <laughs> blow. Performance. As you can see, yeah, for performance. So wow. one box is a thread. I yes, mean. there's 12 of them. Smart! Ah. Why are you so smart? Quick maps! You know why? Because <laughs> you're Asian. Number two, you know why? Why? Because you went to Skola Kebangsa. Yes! Ah! <laughs> don't pray, pray. So, it performs pretty amicably at 3,252. Oh, that's not bad. So, okay. that's actually faster than the first generation 1700X. Oh. Which has eight cores, if I'm not mistaken. ZY, now that we built this thing and we tested it out and everything looks Excellent. So what was the hardest thing to do with this PC build? Okay, first thing for me, it was probably reaching around tight bits, trying to fit bits of cables into weird holes and pins. Yeah, actually you could navigate that by using either the stock cooler, which is smaller, which allows more room for you to work, or use an AIO. Okay. Which is an all-in-one cooler. So it's more compact. It's more compact uh, around the CPU socket so that your hands can go. Uh, I see. Other than that, probably figuring out where what cable goes because there's like a ton of pins. Read the manual. The manual is there. Everything else, like for the keyboard, the monitor, the mouse, the manual you can just throw away. <laughs> 
But with the motherboard, you gotta have some patience, read the manual. So, uh, what else was difficult about? What else is difficult? Well, there were a few things that if you didn't know, like if you've never done it before, it would be a bit tricky to do, like pushing in the RAM that yeah, hard yeah. down. Like if you didn't know, I would probably just stop there and be like, okay, yeah, uh, I'm calling quits. But before we end this video, why don't you tell them what you do? See why? All right, I'm from the Z Productions YouTube channel. So I, it's a channel whereby I teach photography, give tips about photography, and sometimes do gear reviews, cameras, lenses, or anything related to, to photography. So if you are considering diving deep into the really expensive hobby of cameras, definitely come over and swing by my channel. It's ZY Productions. Today, <laughs> we are really happy to have ZY here. Thank you so much. And then, welcome me. home to Malaysia. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you were lost. I've always been in Malaysia. Yeah, you were lost for a second. I pulled you back. <laughs> You know, yes. I pulled the kebang sa'an out of you. Anyways, we'll see you in the next one.